Hi guys, welcome back to Super Tombo Channel. Chromecast has been in the market for a while, and it is now in its third generation with the Chromecast Ultra. In Thailand, however, it officially has been on sale for only like two months ago. Many local YouTube channels have reviewed it, so today I'm only going to quickly run through the list of things that you can do with it. Okay, start by downloading the Google Home app, which will list the Chromecast supported app you already have on your phone. In this cover tab, you can look for more Chromecast supported apps. In Thailand, Chromecast is officially sold by AIS, the biggest telecommunication company in the country. They also launched AIS Play, a TV and movie streaming app that you can cast onto your big screen. They also announced their premium packages with channels like HBO and Fox. Next is Netflix, which I'm sure that many people just buy the Chromecast to binge watch their favorite movies or series. The main selling point of Netflix is of course Netflix Originals. The variety, however, is maybe not as fast as the next app, especially in this region. That next app is iFlix, which I personally believe that they have got the biggest library in terms of TV series. Many of them are also only exclusive to iFlix. There is no Android TV native app yet, so the Chromecast is maybe the easiest way to watch iFlix on your TV. Ah, do remember that you cannot cast offline content. If you have bought your movies and music from Google Play, you can of course cast them as well. Next is Music App. I myself am an early adopter of Tidal since the first day the service launched in Thailand and still use it until today. However, many other streaming services like Pandora, Spotify and Deezer are also supported. Again, you cannot cast your offline content. If you want someone else to select the songs for you or if you just want to listen to like commercials, you can always tune to tune in. I personally like to create my own playlist, so I've never actually used this for a very long time. Other apps like Facebook or many sports streaming services are also supported. I personally would like to recommend TED. Imagine 10 to 20 years ago how difficult it would be or impossible maybe to hear these people talk, but now you have the access right from your hand and now easy enough on the big screen in your house. And yes, of course. Chromecast is from Google, and Google owns YouTube, so you can definitely watch YouTube on it. If you have a large enough local library of movies and music, don't be afraid, they won't be useless. With the help of Plex installed on both your PC or Mac and your phone, you can easily cast both movies and music to your Chromecast, and these are the examples. Okay, let's play some games. I don't have so many games on my phone, and I don't think that gaming on Chromecast is very intuitive, except for maybe Just Dance Now. If you just want to play this game, you can totally ditch that idea of getting a console. In case you have an Android device and somehow you want to show the whole room what you have on the screen of your phone, which I'm not sure why you want to do that, you can just also cast the whole screen. This is maybe the best use of Chromecast. With Google Slides, you can use your phone to cast the presentation you have and act as a remote at the same time. We'll get a bit more technical now. If you want to cast from a computer, you will need to install Chrome Browser and I would suggest always updating it to the latest version. Go to the three dots button at the top right and click cast. The icon will appear. If you want it to always stay, just right click on it and select always show icon. You can choose to cast individual tab from your Chrome Browser which after casting, you can go on to do other things in other tabs. Both video and audio are supported in this case. If you want to cast the whole screen, you can also do that. Video and audio are supported on Windows, not the case for Mac and Chrome OS. Only video will cast to your TV. Aside from all this, there are a wide range of Chromecast supported apps. Just have a look at the link below. So that's it from my video of Chromecast and what you can do with it in 5 minutes. If you don't like this video, you know what to do, but if you do, just press that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. And while you wait for the next video, just look at my review of the Xiaomi Yi Light LED in the card over here. Until I see you next time, peace.